this lecture series. I want to look at the question, why is Reynolds number dimensionless? Why is Osborne Reynolds number a dimensionless quantity? It has no unit. That's what we mean. Okay, so we start. We know that Reynolds number is given by let's say it's a row and Reynolds number it's given by rho density mean velocity diameter all over a dynamic viscosity of course we'll do it in terms of mlt with the less dimension this in terms of mass length and time as the fundamental quantities so let's go for this one we have kilogram per meter cube which is mass so this is this of course you know this is l cube if it comes up is this and then for our mean velocity meter per second so this is what right so for diameter d just m sorry it has to be small letter m to, dis to distinguish it from our mass so this is l so for mu mu which is newton second per meter square will be kilogram meter per second square times what second all over meter square so this will give us mass for kilogram length time multiplied by time again all over this right so we understand now we have mass so of course this goes and this goes so we have so for this you have l minus one t minus one right so we have our mu as m l minus one t minus one so this is so if we check this out that's what you're seeing and then if you bring those parameters here you get this multiplied by your d is this and then multiplied by your diameter l all over this m l inverse c inverse so mass takes care of mass that's great so you have length plus one plus one so that's l2 right so this cancels out first and foremost when that cancels out so you have this cancels out with this and then this cancels out with this very clear picture so if you observe you see that there is no unit left everything has cancelled out mass for mass length for length and time for time so that is why Reynolds number is a dimensionless number I hope you got it I hope you got the trick it's way too simple putting them in the SI unit from the SI unit you express them in terms of the fundamental quantities mass length and time and then when you do that you evaluate and then you see that Reynolds number is a dimensionless number of course you can do same for the other part of Reynolds number the other type of Reynolds number that deals with the kinematic velocity and is given by RN equal to your mean velocity diameter all over your kinematic velocity of course it's the same thing you express each of the parameters in terms of the SI units and then you further express them into their fundamental quantities you dimension them in mass length and time hope you got it 
subsequent videos you see more of calculations involving Reynolds number and flows so stay tuned thank you so much god bless you